Now we have a couple of questions before we uh, get into the first uh, talk, and these have to do with this subject. And if, if you have your clickers, which I hope you do, uh, I'd like you to respond to uh, when you're correlating, a correlating lease in location, it's often difficult on mammography, ultrasound, and MR because A, each modality is performed with the patient in a different position. B, each modality displays entirely different imaging information. Or C, each modality uses a different imaging scale for lesion size. What is the one of these that makes the correlations the most difficult? Okay. All righty. Looks like it. I want to see. Okay. Very good. Okay, the next question. Today's breast imager is responsible for A, imaging imaging correlation only, uh, B, imaging imaging and imaging clinical correlation only, or C, imaging imaging, imaging clinical, and imaging pathologic correlation. What is our job? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I don't have to give the talk. <laughs> you guys know all the answers. Okay, well, we'll give it anyway. Uh, so I, I do call this value added. I think it really does add a great deal of value to make these kinds of co correlation, correlations among the clinical imaging and pathologic issues that we face every day in our practices. What is our job as breast imagers? Well, there's only one focus but many facets. The focus, clearly, is to find breast cancer in any of its presentations, which you know are multiple, as you've heard over the last three days.